What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you this AOSP Plus ROM based on Android 12. And this is the 26th October 2021 build. Now to start off this video I would say this ROM is actually based on MIUI vendors. Unlike Arrow OS this is based on MIUI vendor. Whereas the Arrow OS based on Android 12 OS is vendor based ROM. And you can see the change logs and stuff from right here and it has the Google GMS package. So it includes everything like the Monet engine and stuff. And there is a bug listed which is the Miracast or Wi-Fi display and of course gapps is included in this build. I'll put all the important links in the description. Do not worry for downloading the ROM, downloading TWRP. And if you do not know how to flash this ROM, well check out the card right there. You can see how can you flash a custom ROM. The method is similar over here. You have to use a OTG device to actually flash this ROM because on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, you need to format data every time you flash a new ROM. I will recommend using a separate OTG drive if you want to flash a custom ROM on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So this ROM I have been daily driving for about 3 to 4 days now and my experience has been great so far. And here let me tell you my another experience that I have faced over here. I have flashed a Cherry's OS before this one. This is the version 3 of Cherry's OS Beta 2 and this is the official build. Where you get a lot of customization on Android 12 that was really the best thing in my opinion for the Cherry's OS. But once I set up this Cherry's OS ROM and I copied my files and stuff almost everything was working fine. But then I saw that does not pass the safety net. That was a huge bummer. Right out of the box you do not get the safety net passed on the Cherry's OS. So I thought I might as well flash Magisk and use Magisk Hide with the Cherry's OS so that I can use banking apps. I tried to do that. Then also even with Magisk Hide and like after hiding the app and after hiding the Google Pay and stuff, the Google Pay app simply did not work in Cherry's OS for me at least. So that's why I needed to switch to a custom ROM. That's why I flashed this AOSP Plus and this ROM is giving me amazing experience. So let me show you the home screen. This is how it looks like and it looks definitely beautiful in my frank opinion. If you want to look at the stock launcher, let me actually show you. This is the pixel launcher which is present by default. You can disable the suggestions from here and of course you have everything working fine like the widgets as you can see. The Android 12 kind of widgets are totally working fine. As you can see another one, these are the clock widgets. And of course if you click here you get to the clock and it has this big kind of buttons everywhere this android 12 clock and yeah this does this kind of animation also if you want to see the calculator app of course it has this new android 12 calculator everything is new over here everything looks beautiful i would say so no issues whatsoever with the android 12 apps and all the animations are just beautiful Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile data, fingerprint, IR blaster, everything is working fine here, you should not worry. If you want to get these clock widgets, let me actually show you, you go into these widgets and from here click on the clocks and from here you can add these multiple like clock widgets. So let's assume you are adding this one, you just click over here and you get to choose which one you want to add. So if you want to add the transparent one, this is how it will look. So yeah, the clock widgets of Android 12 are working great and they look really really beautiful. And to the left side we have the Google's Discover page and swiping up over here gets you to the app drawer and you can search for any particular app if you want to and it searches for multiple things over here you can have the keyboard always if you want to do that. If you go into the battery settings this is how it looks like and if you go into the thermal profiles of course you can change the thermal profiles from right here. But if you go into the battery usage this is how it looks like it keeps the 24 hour kind of battery usage and that's why you can't see your screen on time perfectly as you can see. I got 6 hours and 33 minutes of screen on time it shows right now but sometimes I have seen it keeps your screen on time for about 24 hours like previously and that is why I have installed this Echo battery app to actually monitor the battery and you get this pixel kind of battery monitoring stuff and it looks beautiful it works great but yeah if you want to see the screen on time it might be a little bit weird because it keeps your data for 24 hours. The battery life right now with Android 12 custom ROMs I'm just loving it. I simply do not have to worry about the battery life. I am pretty much sure that if you enable the battery saver and use the device normally, you can definitely get 9 plus hours of screen on time even over here. If you want to see my Aku battery usage, let me actually show you from right here. I had the screen on for 8 hours and 20 minutes as you can see. Average battery usage this is and I have used this combined 16 hours. Screen off was 7 hours 46 minutes and based on 4 sessions it shows. So yeah, the battery life here, you should not worry at all. You can get amazing amount of screen on time if you're noticing here, the average battery uses screen on time. I've got about eight plus hours of screen on time. 
and the battery percentage of course you can enable from right here now i'm connected to a bluetooth device if you're noticing i have the bluetooth battery status right there so that is great earlier in ROS it was not present so that was a bummer but here that is fixed also you get to see the weather right here if you're noticing also in the quick settings let me show you it shows this kind of battery percentage right here of your bluetooth device and flashlight is actually working fine no issues and we have the auto rotate device control the battery saver and the dark theme and the screen recorder is also there you can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time if you want to let me show you some more things like the mic access camera access etc and the night light is also there and it is working perfectly fine here also you can edit and add multiple toggles if you want to and we also have the power menu from right here and we have the settings option let me just disable the dark theme for the time being so that i can show you better and this is how without the dark theme it looks like and here let me show you the quick setting panel stays dark even though i have the dark theme disabled as of right now so that's how it is this is how the notification panel will look like in the white theme and these apps i have installed separately you won't get these by default so yeah talking about the about section this is how it looks like we have the android version as android 12 and of course you can make this clock like 12 o'clock and that is how you can get the android 12 easter egg we have the security patch of latest october 5th 2021 and we have the phantom kernel as the default kernel over here you can see the build number from right there in the system panel we have these kind of options like in the gestures we have the swipe to screenshot that is really great that it actually works as you can see also if you are somewhere where you have the scrolling option like this let me show you if you take a screenshot you get this capture mode if you click on capture and you can actually take the full screenshot like this like the long screenshot option is present right here and you can go into the edit option and you can mark something up if you want to just like this and you can save it or share it from right here or you can just delete it from right here so these are great options in my frank opinion in the system again in the gestures we have the press and hold power button to actually hold as for assistant and advanced reboot also is there in this particular rom and that is just great let me actually show you this is how the power menu looks like right now and if you click on restart we have the emergency we have the system restarting option then we get the recovery bootloader and the fast boot options the one-handed mode is also there and it is actually working fine let me show you and as you can see right now we are in the one-handed mode and i can just pull the quick setting panel just like this and we also have the quickly open camera right here and we have the system navigation gestures i have been using it with the full screen gestures and if you go into the settings you can customize it a little bit swipe to invoke assistant is there but talking about the google assistant let me show you yes it is actually working if you swipe from these corners and it has this kind of colors right here if you're noticing but let me show you from this hey google option that this particular feature is actually disabled right out of the box i don't know if developers will fix it in the future updates but as of right now the ok google voice detection is simply not working here there is also two button and three button navigation as well now some of the things that is really great about this rom right out of the box you get the banking apps working or it passes safety net right out of the box so using banking apps like google pay or something is gonna be no issues whatsoever with this particular rom also talking about the drm certification has the l1 certification right here so that means you can stream netflix or amazon prime in 1080p on this particular rom also with the led rgb remote app let me show you it actually works fine so that means the IR Blaster will be working right out of the box too and with other apps too it should work just perfectly fine. Let's jump into the sound settings now and talking about the sound, the sound quality via the speakers or the headphone jack everything is great. You should not worry about it at all even with bluetooth the sound quality is great. We also get the Mi Audio Dirac over here you can enable it from right here and you can choose this Youth Edition from right here and we have the Hi-Fi Audio option again and we have the other presets. Now talking about the audio quality while calling or something. Let me tell you about video calling a little bit because while video calling the black border is simply not there on the front camera so you might be getting a big hello effect on your video's feed but as far as i have heard the developers has implemented it over here but it's just not working or it's broken but yeah video calls are working fine but then again you get that halo effect if your brightness is too high from the screen to the camera and we have the touch sound then the vibrate to indicate call status and stuff and we have the do not disturb etc and this is how the volume panel of course looks like you can increase or decrease the volume from right here you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from right here and you can expand the volume panel from right here we have the display settings and we have the brightness level the adaptive or auto brightness inside lock screen we have the battery level on bottom so that is great and the always show time and info is there and wake screen for notification is there and we have the screen timeout the dark theme and the font size display size etc changing option night light is also working again and we have the color set to boosted by default 
and we have the smooth display or the 120 hertz display option and force 120 hertz option is also there that is great double tap to wake here is just working flawlessly and let me actually show you that but let me tell you there is no double tap to sleep as of right now as you can see double tapping on the status bar doesn't do anything even on the blank area in the home screen doesn't do anything now let me just use the power button to lock the device and right now if i tap the fingerprint scanner just notice how fast it unlocks and it does this beautiful animation for the google gms and yeah it works great as you can see the unlocking speed no issues whatsoever let me try one more time and the always on display here looks beautiful straight up of course it has the big font and double tap to wake here is working fine which was actually not working from the always on display you can't simply double tap and go into the lock screen in the arrow os but here that thing is present let me show you one more time if i lock the device and double tap right here as you can see i'm in the lock screen and if i tap the finger it's gonna does this kind of animation and it unlocks and of course while charging and stuff we still have the android 12's animation where you get that flow kind of animation in the wallpaper and styles let me show you this is how it looks like you can change the wallpapers from right here i have been using this wallp app for these kind of wallpapers they look beautiful we have the dark theme the themed icons and of course you can enable it and if you enable the themed icons this is how they will look and they look definitely beautiful in my frank opinion you can definitely disable it if you want to and the app grid option you can change by default the app grid was on 4x4 but i had to change it to 5x5 of course and by the way the recent panel looks like this you can take a screenshot from right here you can select some text and you can click here and go to your split screen or something if the app supports it as you can see the split screen pin app every option is there and the whole ui stays very very smooth as you can see and of course there is no face unlock or stuff as of right now and if you want to know the benchmarks here are the Android and Geekbench score with a CPU stress test of this ROM. And of course we don't have the call recording option here but Vaulty calling is actually working perfectly fine. Right now it's on the Bluetooth so yeah it is working fine you can change the device from right here. Almost forgot to mention a very important point that is the stock camera. Well let me show you this is how the stock camera looks like this is a very basic kind of Google camera the old version kind of Google camera and yeah. You can take basic pictures with that but do not expect very good quality pictures but here i have installed the gcam go version 2.5 as you can see the front camera is actually working fine and everything like the portrait or the video mode or something you can shoot and that should be working really great even i would say here you get the better picture quality even when compared to the unix version of the gcam but yeah if you're someone who takes a lot of selfies i would say Yes, you don't get any ANX camera or MIUI cameras of right now. So stick with this Google camera go. I would put the link in the description. Do not worry. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends if you feel like. And I have been really really liking this particular AOSP Plus ROM. Almost flawless experience that I am getting. All I want right now is double tap to sleep. And I will be pretty much set. So this pretty much concludes this particular review of AOSP Plus on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.